It is day one of Gen Con 2019. Oh man, <laughs> it is jam packed. It's crazy. And my first interview of the show is with Alex Goldsmith from Gray Fox Games. We talked at Origins. Good to see you Good once to again. See you as well, you got more stuff to talk about now too. So we have Reavers of Midgard to talk about. It's on the table. We have a limited allotment that we're releasing here at Gen Con. It's the sequel to five copies. That's it. That's it. Five. And it took it took three hours for all five of them to go. It's not a good sign. No, uh, they went pretty quick. Yeah, I think they're sold out already today. Or you get maybe one or two copies. No, we're done. We're, we're done, done for the day. Yep. And it's uh, one thirty in the afternoon. Yeah, and we were done before. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, it flew out. That's what we're saying. Standalone uh, standalone sequel to Champions of Midgard, the hit worker placement game. This one uses single worker placement. Okay. So you have one worker each round. The action you select, you get the best possible version of, and then everyone follows behind getting a worse and worse and worse version of that same action. Plays over six rounds. A little heftier than Champions of Midgard, a little more okay. Euro-y than Champions of Midgard, oh, okay. but looks absolutely stunning on the table. And people are going to be seeing some B-roll of this while we're talking as well. Yep. Yaroslav Radecki did a fantastic uh, job Job. It's actually, we're demoing it on a Game Toppers mat done by the same artist, so a nice little bit of overlap there. Right. So that's our little, that's our little plug for Game Toppers. That's right. Why not? We like Game Toppers. Uh, so that's our big hit of the show, uh, the one that, that was most anticipated, and uh, we're excited to see it get a good reception. You have another release here at the show, too, and we talked at more depth at Origins about this, and it is Run, Fight, or Die Reloaded. Yes. This is uh, King of Tokyo meets Zombies. You are going to roll dice each turn, picking some to save, picking some to re-roll, uh, and try and make it out of the zombie apocalypse and be the best player to do so. Simple as that. Strong. Yep. There you go. Ooh. It's it's a little streamlined, too, from the original. It is, yeah. We, we've done our best to kind of smooth off the rough edges. It's a game that's been around for a few years, but we think this is uh, bigger and better than ever. It's all good. Uh, fresh art, fresh look to the game, uh, fresh zombies, and again, streamlined mechanics that we think folks are really going to appreciate. Right. Then you have a Kickstarter on the horizon. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. After the Empire. So this is a worker placement tower defense game <laughs> set after the fall of Rome. Right. You are trying to defend your castle against invaders from the north, south, east, west. Uh, it looks stunning. Again, same art from R Yaroslav Radecki. So uh, similar kind of look to the game for, uh, as to Reavers. And uh, it should be fantastic on Kickstarter August 13th. And if I remember correctly, you actually had a setup at Origins. We did. So I might have some B-roll I can pull there to share that with you as well. Yeah, we think it's a game with a, a great table presence, right? You actually have a castle in front of yes. you that you're building and defending. So folks will really get invested in their own in their own castle. Yeah. What else is cooking? That's that's pretty much it. I mean, you saw Gem Hens at Origins. Bushido, we have demoing right there, a recent review on your channel. Just last week. There you go. Uh, and City of Gears on the corner. Which I reviewed uh, about two months back. I got nothing else new for you, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got new stuff. War of the Worlds coming out later this year. We that's talked maybe about that at Origins. Right. Yep. Uh, that's coming out sometime this fall. Right. That's, and a, that's the new wave. The new wave, not the old wave. So you listen to Devo <laughs> while you play. <laughs> you could do that. Uh, this is a two-player game uh, where one person is the aliens invading the Earth, and the other player are the humans trying to defend the Earth. Uh, if the humans do enough damage to the aliens, the aliens lose. If the aliens wipe out all the humans, the aliens win. It's a deck building game with a map. Nice. Really interesting one. Came together great, incredibly thematic. Very, very cool. Yeah. So that's end of the year-ish? End of the year-ish, yeah. If you were a Kickstarter backer sometime in the fall, otherwise at retail, probably October, November. Talking about retail, when are we going to see Reavers of Midgard hit retail? About that same time, about October, November. Okay. We have to obviously make sure Kickstarter backers get their copies. Um, we're, we're grateful that, that a lot of them were supportive of our, our decision to sell a few retail copies here, but we want to make sure the vast, uh, the vast majority of copies that are out in the world are in the hands of those who supported the game and made it happen in the first place. And as far as Run, Fight, or Die, Reload it, same It's same shipping out period. now. It's already it shipping out. out. And it's going to be in, uh, in retail next week. So you'll have it in time to play it for Halloween. Perfect. There you go. Excellent. Alex, any final thoughts? Anything else you want to share with us? Jeff, I hope you hang in there, man. I still, I have con crud left over from Comic Con. Yeah, stay away from me, man. I got too many oh, more days not, left to work. Not. No, it's not. Contagious. <laughs> it's down here now. Oh, okay. You got, we got, <laughs> we got Dr. Jeff. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alex, as always, great to see you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. You as well.
if you're ready for some more fun and you'd like to check out the latest episode of The Daily Dope, my live Monday through Friday show that airs at 7 p.m. Central right here on YouTube, click right here. And if you'd like to roll the dice and push your luck and see a randomly selected video from the channel, click right here. You pays your money, you takes your chances. Once again, I'm Jeff McAleer and thank you for watching.